back at it for some more middle of the night Dark Souls. Not actually the middle, middle of the night, it's just very early in the morning. But anyway, okay, yes, we are in the Lost Isolith, and we are ready to fight Bed of Chaos. Um, I'm gonna kindle this bonfire up to 15, which is probably useless, but you know. side benefit of doing that is that now um, the Knight Kirk will invade me. So that's something. Alright, so with Bed of Chaos, the thing to do is to estimate the estimate or estimate the number of attempts it will take you. Um, I'm going to say probably 2.5. <laughs> but we'll just find out. Uh, there's nothing else for me to do in Lost Isolith other than kill Bed of Chaos. I don't need any of the items or anything, so... Hardly anyone ever does. Although it does make me sort of have a hankering for the randomizer because it means you have to actually clear out Lost Isolith, which is uh so I could like I'll go ahead and fight the sister of Also because it means that now I can fight um, this guy. Alright. <laughs> so again, that's mostly for grins. And we get, we get, we get a humanity that well, I will certainly lose. Not picking up that catal catalyst. Uh, what I am going to do is switch from shard ring to wolf ring because having poise here does make a significant difference. Being in light roll is the most important thing for Bed of Chaos, but after that, having poise to let you ignore it to attacks is pretty useful. Good morning, Irish nonsense. Yes, it's time for everyone's favorite boss. Might be a bad idea to... Okay. Ow. That's death, okay. That's fine. Honestly, the hardest part of my usual uh, method of killing Bed of Chaos is getting from the first node over to the, over to the second node. That's one attempt. I would like to be able to kill it on the on the second attempt, but no guarantees of that at all. Heck, there's no guarantee that I'll even kill the second note on this attempt. But I certainly have done have been able to kill the second note and kill 
the the actual boss on on one attempt before, so. Yeah, lava bloom, yes. Uh boss Dizalith has a lot of bloom. Alright, so now we're here so we can put the wolf ring back on. Alright, so the basic technique here is to run around the edge and then jump over a gap that opens up that puts you pretty close to the second node. Alright. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Okay, since we're basically safe inside the node, I'm going to sit here and heal and let my stamina regenerate. And that means that now I have full stamina and can do a lot of flipping. Uh, okay. That's bad. And now we make a run for, for, for it here. And I missed that jump. Okay. Yeah, I was like one or two steps not close enough. That's that's bad because uh, because it, that approach is a lot easier than what I'm, what I'm about to do because his attack pattern at that point is relatively forgiving. Um, by the time you get there, like you're within his, his hand sweeps so they usually don't get you, whereas now approaching the, the middle from the entrance is a lot harder because he can easily sweep you, which is basically the most dangerous thing he has. But fingers crossed I can get, get, it, get this. Please remember to put the wolf ring back on. Alright, so this is going to be mostly just a bunch of rolling directly towards the, uh, the hole that I'm supposed to fall into. It's almost directly in front of me. Yeah, that. Okay, so if I can get down. Whoops, missed again. <laughs> That's pretty poor. Alright. We are now, this is attempt four, we're now above average for me uh, trying to kill a bit of chaos. I think frankly been a little while since it's taken me more than three attempts, but, you know, what you gonna do? At least after this I have, like, real, real gameplay. <laughs>
things got really bad, I would like go into my inventory and reconfigure it so the wolf ring and the orange shard ring are right next to each other. Um, I don't. I I hope very much that doesn't become a good thing to do. Uh huh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, this is... The main problem is that I don't really have a good, reliable approach for for getting into the hole directly from the entrance, just because um, I usually don't need to do it. So... It's difficult to know, like, when you should heal and when you... Usually you don't want to heal. You... Because... What you want to do is get into the hole and get onto the root, um, and then you can heal because you're pretty much safe from everything except the firestorm there. Um. So. I'm in light roll, yep. That's light roll. There's some incentive for putting on extra armor and going into medium roll, because it'll just reduce the amount of damage I take, but I, I'm pretty sure that what I want is to just be as fast as possible. Um, so, I guess what I could do is look and see if I can put on the uh, gold-hemmed black hood, which might give me a smidge more fire resistance, but, you know, most of what I'm taking is not fire damage. But, let's see here. Uh, there's no way. Yeah, I... I'm at 25.5 to stay in light rolls, so... I'm very close to that. I guess maybe I should prioritize rolling a little bit more. Okay, well I definitely need to heal out of Firestorm. That's non-optional. I'm actually going to back off to heal again, or yes. Well, that's, that's mostly just bad timing there, like the fact that I got hit by Firestorm, since I have not been hit by Firestorm at all until that point on the approach, so... Alright. Maybe if the, if I it takes like if I die two more times here, then I will try putting on a lot more armor because I can put on quite a bit more armor and stay in medium roll. But I would rather not not do any of that. Okay, so again, this is kind of a question of when the firestorm comes. Or if he doesn't even do firestorm, that's... This is actually good, because it means I can... Wow, I am... <laughs> okay, that's not even, like... Blaming Bed of Chaos for anything, that was a...
perfect approach, and I just totally flubbed the jump. So... <laughs> I'm just used to, like, not having any time to even make a judgment and just take a leap of faith. But that time I got there with so much time that I should have been able to, like, you know, stop for half a second to look where I was going. Okay, well, I can... I can cross my fingers and hope he does that again. That, that method of uh, doing nothing and then firestorming in such a way that I don't get hit by it. I guess one thing that might give me a tiny bit of an edge is using one Essence to heal the uh, fire damage that I took from walking in lava. That <laughs> wow, okay, bloodstain right there, that's cool. Um, okay, so... Knock on wood. Okay, there. Wow, nothing hit me there. Now I am relatively cl in the clear, although extremely bad firestorms can still get me. There. This is done with, I can get back to the actual game. Uh, what was I doing? Um, I think I want like two more points of endurance. Let's head over to let's head over to Firelink just to top off our Estus and then head over to Parish and fight Sif. Uh, the next plan is to fight Sif and then fight the Four Kings and then um, and then do Grave Lord Nido. Not sure I'll actually have time for all of that today, but I'll try. Uh, do I Yes, I definitely have the, the Crest of Artorias, because I, I have the Hornet Ring. So... Sure. I actually am going to want some blooming moss clumps for Nito because being toxic in that fight can be annoying. And I will have very little in the way of poison resistance, so if he does a toxic attack against me, I, I'm going to get toxic. I'm going to rest here because I have a ton of Estus and I usually don't use all of it. Um, now, I've not killed anybody in the forest yet, and I actually don't need... I'm not, not going to start now. 
So I've got the woman with the claymore chasing after me now. Is it not so? Thou fared well. Alright, um, ring loadout. I think I'm gonna stick with the wolf ring. I mean, I obviously can't parry and Sif, so I don't have any use for the hornet ring. Fighting Sif with no shield is kind of exciting. <laughs> so I could easily die here. The gate's already open because I grabbed the hornet ring here. The other issue I have is that my hitbox doesn't agree very well with Sif's hitbox. So, there's a lot of attacks that'll just whiff because I'm punching nothing. Okay, get away from the wall, please. Alright. No, no. Everything's going pretty well so far. Ugh. Hmm, kind of like to heal after that. Problem is, he's going to punish it. Or, or he doesn't, because he was in the middle of doing other stuff. Alright. Okay, should go into limping mode. Oh, he just dies. Okay. That was a very clean fight against Sif. Um, for having no shield. Now I, now I have the soul of Sif if I need a whole lot of souls. spend these now. Um, okay, so what I would like to do is have enough stamina that I can stay in the light roll with um, Hovel's equipment on, which at least some of, some of it. Nope. I'm also only at 1100 health, but now that I have like sunk costs of There we go. Okay, so that's halfway there, so that's an improvement. I guess the other argument is, do I prefer to have um, all those leggings on? And I think the answer is yes. I, I like how they look better than the stone armor, and it's, it's functionally the same. Okay.
I frankly think that the Four Kings will be easier than Sif, because I can just put on the full hovel set, and that will pretty much keep me pretty safe from the Kings. At least, I hope it does. <laughs> I'm not sure if my damage will actually be enough to justify being that cavalier about it. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I can just warp to bonfires. Oh well. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll walk back to Parish and then then warp to Firelink." I I don't know. Well, now that I'm here, I can finish running. But okay. Okay, so so for the next segment, I'm going to want transient curses and just putting on the Covenant of Artorias now, resting there to set my bonfire there. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward approach. I'm going to kill most of the ghosts in between here and, well, I'm going to kill the two ghosts here and then the two ghosts up the stairs and then that should be all that I need, need to do. And frankly, I might not even need to do that, but I'm just going to do this because I'm in the habit of, habit of killing ghosts. See if they drop anything. Nope. Okay. I could also go down that way, but uh, I feel this is a little bit more direct, and I don't have to fight as many dark wraiths. Well, I'm not fighting dark wraiths actually. And actually, I'm not even going to fight these ghosts. Let's see if they chase me. <laughs> to punch a ghost is no no true joy, says Irish nonsense. I'm... I basically agree. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna head this way. And go down here. I've probably got many people chasing after me, mostly a lot of ghosts, that's okay. So the basic plan here is to just use poise, take hits. I was hoping to actually get this king dead, but so this is not optimal because there's a second king spawned already. Um, what is going on? Like, <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I'm dead, but like, I shouldn't be because I was 
pushing the X button to drink Estus and it wasn't happening, which is a little annoying. I don't think I was in the middle of an animation that I couldn't inter couldn't cancel out of. I thought I was just in just standing there. So, I'm not sure what happened there. Here's a question. If I switch Hobble's ring for Chloranthe ring, am I like, how fat am I? That's acceptable. Uh, I mean, that's not my walking around outfit, but... Okay. I'll do that. Okay, so... I'm not sure if it, my, my controller was dropping inputs there, or if I actually was in an animation that I couldn't cancel out of to drink Estus, but, like, if I can't drink Estus when I think I should be able to, that's a problem. I don't like being the uh, the kind of streamer who blames his controller. That's kind of tacky, but on the other hand, this is a pretty old controller, so eventually <laughs> it's going to die. And so if it's starting to drop inputs, I need to be aware of that. Because definitely, like, if I'm standing there and a king's dead, and I'm not drinking, and I'm at low health, and I'm not drinking Estus, you can bet that I am trying to. Let's get out of here. Okay, swap that out for Chloranthe Ring. Because I'm going to be fat, we can just accept that. I dodged out of the grab. That's quite good. Hmm. But in the meantime, I already have a second king here. care too much about the blast. going decently. Okay. Yep, okay. Getting caught by the grab is mostly a problem because it uses a lot of time. Which means more time for more kings to spawn.
Okay, this is pretty good. Whoa, I need to heal. Alright, that was close, but basically fine. I believe we're at three kings here, but that's the end. Okay. Alright, so... Kind of a wacky first attempt, but the second attempt went basically by the book. I'll go grab this blood stain. I think there's some amount of souls in it. Okay, maybe not, but... Okay. Three Lord Souls down, one left. And so now that I have Hovel's boots on, I'm actually kind of happy with my, where my endurance is at. So I would like some more hit points. And that's close enough to a level wall. Hmm. I can probably crunch some, like one of these. Yeah, that's pretty close. Not quite close enough to need just over another thousand. Uh, it's probably three thousand. Yeah. Okay. Oh right. Blooming, blooming moss clumps. How many of those do I have? None. Well, let's go buy a few. like four is probably enough. Well, I guess allowing that I may die, I'll probably want more than four. Yeah, again, Nito is another fight where having no shields is kind of a problem because it means you can't block the blast attack. How much are they? A thousand? Okay. just crunch up all these large souls of a proud knight. Oops. <laughs> okay. At least a couple of them. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that should probably be plenty. Like, I probably won't need more than two, but I don't want to have to come back here, so... Quick bar. And take off the Covenant Thartorius. And again, yeah, we just want Wolfring here. If things go very well, I might have time to finish the game. That might be a bit optimistic, though. Kind of would, would rely on me not taking too many attempts against Nito. Alright, one question is whether I want to rest at this bonfire. Just because if I die on, die on the approach, it's possible. I think I will.
I am going to rest at the bonfire in the Tomb of the Giants. But Uh, and once I have that, that one's warpable, so... Do, 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 yep. Gang's all here, but they can't cross there, so. Pinwheel's dead, of course. And now we get to grope around in the Tomb of the Giants. Um, Okay. I guess one question is whether I want to fight this guy. I think we'll fight this guy. Okay. No problem. And now there's going to be a lot of hugging walls. But we head down here. Ignore you. Ignore you. Head down here. And now the bonfire is right over here. Seventeen Estus. I'm not even gonna warp back to Firelink for for three Estus. Uh, I may regret that since in the current build, flushing a lot of Estus is one of the ways to uh, solve Nito. Light rolling definitely helps against the dogs. Well, that one is still chasing me, technically. But you roll around that one, and then you just hug the right wall. There's a skeleton right there. But you head downstairs, and you fall into this hole, and that's Tomb of the Giants. Hit by one fireball, that's not a problem. Okay, so you may recognize this strategy. And actually, yeah, if I'm gonna be... Actually, am I still in mid-roll? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna stay in mid-roll. Um, rather than putting on the Chloranthi ring. So it'd be nice if he did not scream, which he's not screaming. That's very good. Uh, 
Okay, now he's just gonna blast, and that's fine. Now we have a small problem, which is that the the large men have at least at least one large man has noticed me, which is a little annoying, but not too bad. I would like for him to blast, but oh, there he goes. Thank you. Possibly the most boring fight against Grave Lord Nito. But it worked, so we'll take it. Yes, very clean Nito fight. Can't ask for much more. I think I said a long time ago that I was going to think about switching over to the witch outfit, but since I'm already, like, done with the game, <laughs> I'm not going to bother doing that. If I was going to do the DLC or something, I might think about that, but... Uh, I'm so close here that I think I'll just finish the game. And once again, I'm close to a level. I think what I'm going to do is just crunch the soul of an iron golem. Or maybe the soul of Quilag. Yeah. If I get into some awful position where I need to generate a lot of souls, I have the soul of Sif. Oh, ha. But I'm at the end of the game, so I don't see a situation where that happens. Okay, that's pretty close to 1,200, which is sort of where I want, want to be for Gwim. Alright, so I am still in light roll. One thing I'm going to change now is to actually put on the Hornet Ring. This is, like, the best place to have the Hornet Ring. Alright. And away we go. One question is whether I want to fight the Black Knights or not. I could, but if I was supremely confident that I could kill win on my first try, I would fight the Black Knights. Um, but as it is, I'm not super confident of that. So I'm not going to waste my time. I I still may kill Gwyn on my first try. It is possible, but I don't need to get too lucky. But like with Bed of Chaos, I would estimate... Well, okay. If this takes as many tries as Bed of Chaos, that'll be kind of embarrassing. But, um, this could easily take two or three attempts. Oh. Alright. 
So the basic strategy here is I don't I'm not good enough to make a parry to do it. So just crowd win. Uh, parry what you can. Whoa. That's death, okay. Yeah, so the problem, so... <laughs> the issue here is that my level is not very high. <laughs> um, and so I can't flub too many parries. What is my level? 80? Yeah, that's not very high. So the margin of error is pretty low. So this is going to be a combination of me getting lucky with the Gwyn's attack pattern um, and not flubbing parry. So there's basically... So Gwyn at close range will do like four different things. He can grab you, which you can roll out of the, the grab animation, and that's extremely safe. Um, he can kick you, which comes out pretty quickly, and usually you just take the kick. Um, he can do a big wind-up kind of roundhouse, or, yeah, kind of, not, not roundhouse, that's a kick. Um, haymaker attack that has a very slow wind-up and is extremely easy to parry. Um, and that's what we want him to do. Or he can do the combo that starts with the quick slash, which I can't parry the first attack of that combo, but I can parry the second one. So, pairing the second one is what I want. Um, in that case, I missed it, which does happen. If I, if I miss that second parry, that's bad, because that means I'm getting hit by two hits uh, consecutively, which I don't have a lot of health to live past that. So that's what we want him to do. Good, my cat's decided that now's a good time to attack my feet. Now, after a repost, I actually do have time to heal, so that's what I can do. This is going pretty smoothly. One more repost should do it. Good night, Gwyn. All right, so that's Dark Souls punching. Um, I'm going to do the vic victory lap, which is go through the uh, Asylum on New Game Plus, which will take like a minute. <laughs> This is just sort of tr a personal tradition that once I beat Dark Souls, I finish the uh, Asylum on the next level. So I'm, I stop playing once I get to Firelink, essentially. And now I get to see a very f easy fight against this, the Asylum Demon. Although, I wonder how many hits it'll take with a plus 15 Estus against Estus. Plus 15 Cestus against a uh, Sound Demon. Uh, I'm going to say fewer than 10, possibly fewer than 5. Uh, 2. 
This will be close to ten, actually. Three, four, nine. So that's six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Yes, so the number was eight. So you can't get out just yet, you still have to go talk to Oscar, which is a little tedious, but them's the rules. On New Game Plus, that first back backstab punch of 117 damage is not lethal, which is a little weird, but... This is a new game plus. The hollows are f are much stronger. That. Okay. Uh huh. All right. You don't need to go up the stairs. You can just open this gate. Okay, so that is the Cestus run of Dark Souls on New Game. As soon as it, like, let's get through that message. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching. This stream is finished. See you next time.